To say this is blowing up is an understatement. Compare Frozen on Ice to every other entity in your franchise. We've never quite seen the onslaught of ticket sales like we've seen for Frozen. Um, we went on sale this summer. We sold 10,000 tickets within the first hour, over 250,000 tickets in the first 24 hours. We just finished a five-day stint at Brooklyn Barclays Center. We played to 112,000 fans. It has just been mind-blowing. Are you selling way more product than at other shows? I'm guessing your demographic is eight-year-old girls. And showing up to the Barclays Center, they're probably in an Elsa costume. They yeah. want the light-up wand. They want the Olaf cup. Well, we're just seeing consumers consume everything frozen. So I know Disney's seeing it. They're coming into Disney on Ice wearing the costumes, as you said. Yes, and they're purchasing lights or exper experiential-type merchandise. I mean, we've sold over 50,000 Olaf snow cone mugs. How much of the upside? 50,000 Olaf the numbers, but the numbers, the numbers are insane. They get 50,000 50, Olaf mugs. And how much does that mug cost? Uh, it can range depending depending on what city you're in, but it, it runs about twelve to fifteen dollars. Wow! For an old, but it's indestructible. It's up. indestructible. It'll last you forever. Everything comes with a guarantee. Uh, you can't get it anywhere else. How much? I'm curious. How much of the upside that you're seeing as a result of this unbelievable interest in Frozen, or maybe not unbelievable, kids dig it, uh, flows to Feld, and how much of it flows to Disney? Well, we're a parasitic business. We're a licensee of the Disney company. I, I, I'm not able to comment on what sure. Disney's numbers are, of course. We're doing very well. We have a great partnership with them. Because we're doing well, they're doing well with anything that, that is frozen. Um, but, you know, we also have eight Disney on Ice shows that are all very successful, touring domestically and worldwide. I want to say that's the first time I've ever heard anybody say quite happily, we're a parasitic business. We are. <laughs> we are. It's great. It's a great, it's a great explanation. <laughs> Is there anything you can take away from Frozen success and deliver that to your other on ice products? Wait, is Marvel on ice or that's just an action show? Marvel is a, is a live, yeah. it's a live <laughs> arena spectacular, also a Feld Entertainment property. I mean, anything that we do at Feld Entertainment is a learning for the next live show. So I think with this, you know, we've seen the audience involvement. We've added Frozen segments into two other Disney on ice shows. Um, one that just opened in Poland this past week, which has just been phenomenal. And uh, it's just going to continue. The success of Frozen is just going to continue to support everything that we do at Feld Entertainment. We're able to bring in, I think, you know, an additional audience over what we typically do. You know, this is audience that have eyes on Feld Entertainment. They're going to look forward to seeing Disney on Ice when it comes again in January with a princess sh and hero show. And also Ringling Brothers when it comes back in the spring and Monster Jam and everything else we have. Monster Jam. Are you going to try to create another Frozen product given how successful this was? Well, we're very happy with this show. Frozen it's on grass? <laughs> Frozen, <laughs> Frozen is a natural on ice, um, and, it, and, and it makes for a beautiful uh, transformation from the film to to this medium. Uh, we we have plans to include it and update some of our other Disney on ice shows, um, but for the meantime, this show is going to enjoy um, a ten month tour domestically. That's it. 35 this year into the beginning of next year it's going to play them mexico city hit the west coast of the united Is states it, next I mean, year given and the then go outside couldn't the it US. be like the lion king and mama mia and just go on forever and ever and ever and ever well we hope so i mean yeah, i don't know an extra ever just I, to make you realize i'm going to be done with this <laughs> i i mean we hope that the success goes to continue on i don't know if anything can see this kind of level <laughs> of success oh, then, then, for, for forever is this going to be your most profit? How many, you've been in business for 35 years? That's right. Is this going to be your most profitable year ever, given that we haven't seen anything along the likes of Frozen before? Yeah, I mean, first of all, the show only opened in fourth quarter of this year, so we're seeing tremendous lift, obviously, because of this phenomenon. I mean, it's going to play to over a million people by the end of the year. Um, actually, maybe even by the end of the month. Does it cost more money than your other Disney on Ice shows? The, the production is, is on par with the level of our other. I mean, Disney ticket on prices. Ice shows. Ticket prices are what the market demands. I mean, there's definitely a secondary and third 
ticket market where we're seeing inflated prices that that is not what we're putting out but but does that mean you could then increase your so does disney on does frozen on ice if i buy a ticket from ticketmaster does it cost the same thing as heroes on ice or your princess show on ice it depends when you go we have we, we actually um participate in dynamic pricing so it depends when you go what the market demands but you can get a ticket to frozen on ice starting at 15 dollars that's pretty accessible. Yeah, without a doubt. What, what, uh, so if it's not going to be, I mean, if we're talking about Frozen, you talked about some of the other things that you have in the pipeline. When you look at the way that people respond to Frozen, what other ideas does it give you about things that felt might stage? Well, I know that anything that has that kind of great emotional music is what's going to be popular with kids and families. So, you know, as long as Disney continues to produce really great anima animated films with emotion characters with emotional resonance mm. and really great music, that's going to do well for us. Honestly. Do you think Disney pays close attention to what happens in this aftermarket? With Disney on ice, or I think yeah, they're yeah, paying no, 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 but whether they respond to it, whether they see what happens beyond the film. I think so.